Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Wanicher for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to before here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Fennec 4x4. The Fennec 4x4 is a reconnaissance armored vehicle produced by the German defense company KMW Cross Muff Wegman. The main role of the Fennec is reconnaissance thanks to a retractable mass mounted toward the rear of the hole on the left side which is fitted with a sensor pod that contains a thermal camera a day camera and a laser rangefinder. A scout party equipped with this vehicle is able to operate independently over a period of five days uh, and armor and NBC protection uh, ensure optimum crew safety. The Fennec is also very easily transported. It can be transported by rail, truck, or ship, which makes it easy to be rapidly deployed to areas and be able to quickly expand its combat zone um, due to its uh, you know, transportation ease. Uh, this vehicle was kind of a joint project between the Royal Netherlands and German Army, uh, and it was kind of a toss-up between two different companies, SP Aerospace and KMW. Uh, basically, KM KMW develops kind of a little bit of a derivative of like the main kind of design they were going for, and basically that kind of created the Fennec. Uh, both of the German uh, Army and the Royal Netherlands Army have decided to go ahead and go with the Fennec, and are currently using these. Uh, in their armies uh so anyways it's a pretty cool vehicle overall it's kind of like a you know armored vehicle i mean that's pretty much what it is it's got an armored car type deal uh and it's uh overall pretty cool so going ahead and taking a look at it uh actually before we do that i want to go and give a special thanks to patreon supporter uh ferdinand weinacher for making this video possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do feel free to check out my patreon page link is down in the description where you guys can pledge to a certain tier uh, for donating to the channel and earn some cool little perks for doing so. Uh, so feel free to check that out if you guys are interested. But anyways, let's go and take a look at the vehicle. So start off up on the front here, we have obviously our front headlights and some hazard lights here. Um, just the front basic, uh, you know, up here, nothing too fancy about it. And again, hazard lights on both sides. We got the side mirrors. Uh, it's got a very interesting kind of uh, open, I guess, uh, I guess crew compartment, I guess, for kind of like a wind windshield, I guess. Uh, it's very open. Usually armor vehicles, they have kind of fairly small uh, visibility, but this one actually has some pretty good sized windows on it. They kind of extend all the way across the front there. And then it has some really like thin stripped windows along the side there. So uh, it's kind of interesting and kind of uh, unique overall, but I do like it. It's pretty cool. Up here on top, it had a bit of a small auto cannon. Um, at least with this version, there are versions that have the 50 cal mounted, but I think all the current ones are kind of using this. Uh, this I think it's like Mark 19 or something like that, um, kind of auto cannon type design. Uh, this uh, vehicle, again, as I mentioned, had the uh, retractable mass here with a sensor pod of cameras and all that stuff. So this is kind of what this is representing here. Of course, you can have this thing kind of brought down, and I'll probably show you guys how to uh, have this thing brought down if you guys don't want it sticking up. But you do have like the mass ability so you can stick it up and have it as a view camera and stuff like that so you can look over bushes or any obstacles and stuff and scout out enemy positions. Uh, communication antenna on the back here. Uh, brake lights and some vents and stuff like that on the back. Nothing super interesting or anything like that. Uh, but overall that's pretty much the Fennec 4x4 and let's go and move into the tutorial by starting off from our first layer, layer 1. Alrighty guys, so moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off for layer 1. So layer 1, we're going to basically just be setting up our wheelbase for this layer. So I do recommend just grabbing ourselves some like blocks that we can easily tell uh, apart so that we can kind of use to outline and kind of count spaces in between these wheels here. Uh, because pretty much it's only the bottom half of these wheels that we're going to be building this layer. There's no any there's no axles or anything like that going across to connect them. So uh, we kind of need to, you know, mark some space out and kind of know exactly where we're building and count it out. So... Anyways, to get started here, we're going to start off by building the left front wheel, which is going to basically be two narrow brick stairs that are going to be back to back from each other, just like that for kind of like the first half there for the wheel. After that's done, going back from the stair, we're going to go back one, two, three, and four blocks back, where they're going to go and place down two narrow brick stairs back to back as well, just like this, and delete the blocks in between these stairs like so. So you have basically uh, the left front wheel and the left rear wheel, and uh, you can see we have a space of four in between them. Once that's done, we're going to go one, two, and three uh, spaces over. We're going to place down another narrow brick stair and upside down one coming off the back of it like this. So we create the, we basically have the right front or the right front wheel now. And then we're going to go, ahead and go four back from this wheel right here, 
four back, and we're gonna go and do the same thing we did on the other side. So two narrow brick stairs, back to back, and that's gonna go and create your wheelbase like so. Once we're done with that, that's it for layer one. Let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to layer two. For layer two, we're just gonna go and take our nether brick stairs. We're gonna go and place down two nether brick stairs back to back on top of these nether brick upside down stairs. So just like this, all the way around here, and it's gonna go and go on top of the stairs and complete the wheels like that. Once that's done, we're going to go to basically whichever direction we want the front facing. So the front of our vehicle is going to be facing that direction. So we're going to go to the front up here and place down a row of green stained clay across the front here or in between these narrow brick stairs. Behind that, we're going to place down a green stained clay block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides like that. Once that's done, going ahead and going toward the front again, we're going to go and take our green stained clay, place down a row of three across, followed by a upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides of that row of three. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a... Uh, what is going to be a item frame and we're also going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some orange stained glass and a sign We're going to place down a item frame with an orange stained glass block in it on the back here of both these stairs And we also want to place down a sign on the back of the stair as well So we create a cool little uh, effect that looks like that for the hazard lights down there Once that's done over here on the right side So this green stained clay block here to the right side We're going to place down a stone brick top slab followed by one and two dark oak with top slabs out to the side like that after that's done working our way back, we're going to go and take our green stained clay, place down a row of three across, followed by a second row after that. We're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair, coming off the first row of three on both sides, followed by a spruce wood upside down corner stair, coming off that spruce wood stair like that. So you get something that looks like that on the sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down two more rows of three of green stained clay going back, and each one of these rows is going to have two, or basically an upside down dark oak wood upside down stair coming off of it on both sides like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down another green stained clay block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides. Uh, in between these uh, narrow brick stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay across all the way like that. Um, after that's done, we're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair, come off this green stained clay block in the middle, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides of the spruce wood stair. Uh, we're also going to place down a dark oak wood corner stair, come off the dark oak wood upside down stair again on both sides like this, and coming off those corner stairs, we're going to go and place down a item frame with a red stained glass block in the item frame like that again on both sides there. After that's done, we're going to take some zombie heads, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off these two dark oak wood upside down stairs on the back there, and with that complete, that is going to do it for layer two. With that, we can go ahead and move on to layer three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we're going to go ahead and place down a green hardened stained clay block on top of this dark oak wood top sad like so, followed by a dark oak wood stair on both sides of that green stained clay block. We also want to place down an item frame coming off the front of the stairs, followed by a glass block in the item frame, and also a sign that's going to be coming off the front of the stairs like that to create the lights on both sides. Once that's done, coming off the dark oak wood stair on both sides, we're going to place down a co uh, mossy cobblestone wall on both sides, followed by a row of five of green stained clay across behind those. Then we're going to go, to go to the sides of the green row of five green stained clay, place down an item frame, put orange stained glass block in it, and a sign to cover it up. Same thing over here on this side, item frame, orange stained glass block, and a sign on the green stained clay block like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides like this, a row of three of green stained clay in between them. We're going to place down a second row of three of green stained clay going back, followed by, and again, another dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides. Uh, this time, these upside down stairs are going to be facing each other like so. Continuing now, we're going to go and take our uh, spruce wood planks. We're going to place down one and two spruce wood planks back. Same thing over here, one and two spruce wood planks back. We can go ahead and grab ourselves a trip bar hook and also a stone bun. We're going to place down a stone bun on the first spruce wood plank and a trip bar hook on the second one. Same thing over here, like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down one and two green stained clay blocks back, one and two back like that. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides like this, followed by a row of three of green stained clay in between those stairs. We then want to place down a second row of three of green stained clay across, followed by again a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides facing the stair uh, that we just did previously. Um, once that's done, on the back here, we have a you know, difference on both sides here. So on the right side, we're going to place down two nether brick uh, planks like this or two nether brick full blocks followed by a spruce wood plank and then we're going to place down two green stained clay blocks to the side. Now coming off the nether brick, uh, play, or full blocks. We're going to go and place down some uh, ladders like that, and we're going to place down stone buns on these two green stained clay blocks like so. Uh, once that is all done right there, that is going to do it for layer three. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys, so moving on to layer four. For layer four, we're going to start off by taking green carpet. We're going to place down a row of three across the dark oak wood stairs and green stained clay blocks. We're then going to place down a row of three of uh, wooden trap doors coming off this row of three of green carpet. 
and then we're going to place down a stone button on these green stink boot blocks on both sides like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence post. We're going to place it down on top of this uh, upside down, never, or uh, dark oak wood stair on both sides. And coming off this fence post here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, which we're going to have opened up toward the fence post like this. And it's going to be the same thing over here on this side, just like this, opened up like so. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign, and we're going to place down a sign coming off the side here of this fence gate that is going to be more going toward the front like that. And that's going to be kind of be the start there for our mirrors that are going to be on the sides there. Um, for the center space in here, we're going to go ahead and take light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down a row of three across in between the fence post. We will also need to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, light gray stained glass full block and place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a light gray stained glass pane on the sides. After that's done, going back from the panes, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair with its back facing toward the pane on both sides, followed by one and two dark oak wood slabs going off the stair. Same thing over here, one and two dark oak wood slabs back. We're also going to place down a black wool block on both sides like this with a stone button coming off the side of the black wool. We also want to grab ourselves some light gray stained glass again. We're going to place down a row of three along the side of the dark oak wood stair and two dark oak wood slabs on the inside here to continue that kind of glass look on the inside. Uh, continuing on toward the back, we're going to place down a row of five of green stained clay all the way across with a sign on both sides. So just like this, a sign on both sides. We're then going to place down a second row of five all the way across. Again, a sign on both sides. Uh, we're then going to place down a third row of five of green stained clay across. This time, however, on the right side, we're going to place down a green banner, which is going to cover up this uh, dark oak wood or this uh, narrow bricks uh, full block right there. And then over here on the, on the left side, we can just go and place down a sign like so. Uh, on the back here, we're going to place down a green stake blue block on both sides like this, followed by a row of three mossy cobblestone walls across the center in between those blocks like that. We're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves a item frame. And we're going to need some red stained glass as well. We're going to go and make some bright, uh, brake lights on the back here. So red stained glass. So an item frame, red stained glass in the item frame, and a sign on the green stake blue block. Same thing over here, item frame red stained glass and a sign on it like so. Uh, once we have that all done, that is going to do it for uh, layer four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're gonna be going ahead and move on to layer five. For layer five, we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to this row of three of light gray stained glass full blocks here. We're gonna place down a row of three of another brick slabs across the top of it. Um, after we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood plank, place it down, coming off, or a spruce wood slab coming off, coming off the center, another brick slab and going across the middle here, followed by a dark oak wood slab on both sides. On top of the dark oak wood stair on both sides, we're going to place down a zombie head at about a 30 degree angle, like this on both sides, like that. We also want to grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull, and on top of this dark oak wood fence gate, over here for the side mirrors, we're also going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides, on top of those dark oak wood fence gates to kind of act as mirrors, also at a 30 degree angle-ish, uh, so just like that on both sides. Once that's all done, uh, going ahead and going back to this section here, we're going to place down a green stink wood block, come off this dark oak wood slab on the right side. Over here on the left side, it's going to be a dark oak wood stair. Uh, we're then going to take a dark oak wood slab, go out to the side like this one on both sides, and in the middle, in between the, the uh, dark oak wood stair and green stink wood block, we're just going to place down a dark oak wood slab. Going to get to you back, going back from the uh, dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank. Same thing over here for the green stink wood block like this. On the side of the green, uh, the spruce wood plank on both sides, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. Move its back to the plank, and in, in the middle here, we're just going to place down a dark oak wood slab. On this back section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on both sides, come off this dark oak wood stair. We then want to go ahead and put a dark oak wood stair with its front facing toward the plank, the spruce wood plank here. Same thing on both sides like this, and a dark oak wood slab in between the stairs like so. Once that's done, uh, over here on the left side, we're going to place down a uh, mossy cobblestone wall. We then want to place down a dark oak wood slab, followed by a spruce wood uh, plank, and then two nether brick slabs out to the side. Uh, continuing now, we're going to place down a zombie head over here on the left side. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post. After that zombie head, a spruce wood plank, and then we're going to place down a row to a black carpet across. Uh, continuing on, we then want to go ahead and uh, actually take some spruce wood planks. And from the previous layer, we've, I forgot to include this, but we actually want to go ahead and place down uh, two spruce wood planks kind of in that position like so. And we will then, on top of them, place down some redstone repeaters. We'll, we'll flip back all the way like that to create a design on the top there. And then we also will take some nerve brick slabs, place them down on top of those green stinkway full blocks with a wither skeleton skull coming off the 
slab toward the front right here for our smoke grenade dispensers. And the last thing we're going to do for this layer is just place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of this mossy cobblestone wall over here to the right. And once we have that all done, that is going to do it for layer 5. With that, we'll move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to consist of layers 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're going to put the top of the uh, vehicle on and all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, so moving on to our last final layers, we're going to go ahead and basically get started with putting the auto cannon on. So for this, we're going to place down a uh, anvil on top of this green stinkway block like so, with a black wool block coming off of it. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and place down a placeholder block with a... Uh, coming off the black wool by followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off this placeholder block We're gonna delete this block right here and place down an end rod So we have an end rod in between the wither skeleton skull and the black wool block like that for the uh, barrel there or barrel there and kind of like the main part there of the uh, Auto cannon we're then gonna place down a zombie head on the right side of the black wool followed by a uh, Dark liquid top sub like this coming off the uh, black wool block to the left side We're gonna go and take signs and wrap it around the dark liquid slab uh, just like that on top of the dark oak wood slab we're going to place down a green carpet and we also want to place down a redstone repeater on top of this black wool block like this with its notches flicked out to the side like so uh, with that all done there we're going to go ahead and take item frames we're going to place down an item frame on both sides of the anvil like so with a green hardened stink we block in the anvil like that and we're also going to grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate and place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the back there the anvil opened up toward it like so we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark liquid slab. We're going to place down a dark liquid slab kind of coming off the anvil at an angle here to the right side. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of the uh, on the side of the slab. And we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black sting stained glass block and place down a black stained glass block in the item frame with a sign also on that side as well with the slab like that to create the uh, kind of like a little bit of a viewport or kind of like a camera there for the gun. And then we're just going to take signs and wrap it around the dark oakwood slab. Once that's all done there, uh, that's pretty much the gun complete. And we can go ahead and move on to our sensor uh, kind of box here. So for this, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one right here. So kind of continuing that up like that. We're then going to place down a green stankway block on top of the mossy co two mossy cobblestone walls and a uh, basically zombie skull on both sides of it. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oakwood top slab that's going to be right above the green stink we block like this and then a dark oak with slab on top of that we also want to grab ourselves a wooden trap door place it down the side of this uh, dark oak with top slab and we're gonna flip it flip it down like that um, like that uh, when we get to this section here we're gonna go ahead and place down a narrow item frame turn off this dark oak with top slab we're gonna go ahead and place down a black stained glass block in it uh, so just another one like so and we're gonna place down a sign on the uh, side of the slab as well and wrap it around the slab as well all the way around like that uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and take some iron bars we're gonna place down uh, one two three and four going up from that dark oak wood fence post there and same thing right here one two three and four up as well so you get something that kind of looks just like this and once you have that done you pretty much have the vehicle complete if you guys want to go ahead and basically have this uh, you know kind of masked here kind of retracted uh it's a very it's very simple to change honestly uh all you would do is you would just basically uh delete all this right here so we'll just go and delete the box all together and we can go ahead and take these monster cobbles to walls delete them as well we're gonna go ahead and place down a green stinkway block in this section here uh just like we built the optics box on top we're gonna place down a uh dark oak with top slab dark oak with slab on top of it we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, wooden trapped organ place it on the side here uh, we're gonna go and place down the item frame with the black stained glass in it and we need to grab ourselves signs and just wrap it around like we did before and once you have that done you pretty much have it kind of like in its retracted form so it just kind of sits like that um, but you can have diff both different versions here one with it extended and one with it kind of down and all that stuff so anyways that's pretty much it for the fennec 4x4 reconnaissance armored vehicle hopefully you guys do enjoy the design Again, a special thanks to Patreon supporter Fernand Winitscher for making this tutorial possible. And of course, feel free to check out my Patreon page down in the uh, description and uh, take a look at the tiers and see if you want to pledge a small amount to help the channel out. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do have to use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be a thing from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure you get proper credit for it. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. 
And on that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary24, and I'll see you guys next time.